Do you want to make beautiful time lapses like the one that you're seeing right now? Well, you need to download Replay Mod, which is a mod that allows you to make cool camera transitions and all kinds of cuts and just cool time lapse things. So, we're going to show you how to install it today, and then we're going to come back next week in one, seven days, and I will show you how to make beautiful time lapses. So, yeah, let's head to the desktop to show you how to install all this stuff. Okay, so we're here on Google. Just head to any search engine, Yahoo, Ask Jeeves if you use that. And then we're going to head to replaymod.com. Look up replay mod. You can go to dot com. Then go to download now. And then find your version. Um, I'm doing 1.16.2. You can go all the way back to 1.7.10 if you want to. But we're just going to go back to 1.16.2. Hit download. And this page will load. You're going to download it. I'm just going to download it straight to my desktop. Just because then you can see it. Then click this fabric if it says requires fabric. Unless you're using an older version that requires Forge. But we're just going to go with the .exe. Seems simpler to me. I know that. And then we're going to have to look up FFMPEG. And download that. And then just go to here. Click Windows. And then click up here. Windows Builds. And then this should all be set up. Just hit Download Build. And then download that to your home. And then we're good for the next step. We'll get everything downloaded. And I'll put it just here in the center and we'll be on to the next step. Okay, so we have these three installed. And then you're going to click on the fabric installer, just run it. Just double click it, that's what I did. If that doesn't work, you can hit run as administrator, but this should show up. Make sure it's the right Minecraft version. Um, and then just hit install. If you're doing anything server related, I don't know about that, so don't ask me. You got that done? Okay. Now you're going to get into this thing this page you just hit the windows key and r together and then type in percent app data percent and hit ok then we're going to look through here and find our dot minecraft folder which it's right there and then if you've done some mod work before there should be a folder named mods if there's not just open a new folder and label it lowercase m mods but i already have one so we don't need we don't need that um, we can just delete that folder. It's fine. So then go into your mods folder and chuck in this replay mod just like that. And then go back in here and we're going to make another folder, new folder and label it F F M E E G just like that. Then open up this zip file and then extract this guy. I just want to extract it to my desktop, just like that. If you don't have WinRAR, you can just extract it with Windows, I believe. And then we're gonna open up this and throw all of this stuff, stuff into our new folder. So it should be, where is it? Right there. All of that should be in there. Close that other one, go to your bin. And then this one, we're gonna go to properties. Find where it says location. And then we're just going to copy that. We got that done. And then open up your Minecraft launcher. And you should see it says Fabric Loader 1.16.2. If you're using a different version, obviously, obviously it's going to be different. Hit play. Wait for that to load up. We can just sit here waiting. It should take just a few seconds. Okay, so load it up. We got this. You should, say, you should see that it says Replay Viewer there. Then once you create a replay, you're going to go into the replay viewer, obviously, and then just find one. We're just going to do the replay install vid. Just load it up, and it's loading. And make all your edits. We're just going to hit P to pause real quick. There we go. This is, this is already set up, but you need two points. Again, we're going to go over this in the next video. You need two of these points right at two different places. I have them. Then once you're done with that, hit render camera path and in here, we're going to delete that just real quick. Paste that, that uh, dot bin file directory, then backslash ffmpeg.exe 
And then you're going to hit render once you have all this set up. And... I don't know why this didn't work. This should have worked. That's because it's already in there. Okay, make sure that it's empty. That, that helps. Make sure that there's nothing there. And then try it. Look at that. Now it's going to render. So, why is it... There we go. Look at that. So, if you guys... Uh, this will render out. It'll be cool. So, if you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe so you can get notified when the video on how to make a replay comes out. And comment down below if you think this is useful. Do you make time lapses? I'd, I'd love to know, actually. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.